We now present the Marvin E. Lewis Award, which honors guidance, loyalty, and dedication among consumer attorneys. To present this award, please welcome CAOC board member Casey Johnson. Good evening. Uh, unlike most trial attorneys, Cynthia Craig absolutely abhors talking about herself. But she has a tremendous life story that helps inform why she cares so much about inspiring and mentoring other attorneys and making sure that they succeed and remain involved in an organization like CAOC, part of one of the greatest professions. It is the greatest profession in the world. After moving eight times during her junior high school years, Cynthia came home one afternoon and saw a U-Haul in the driveway. Her mother told her, we're moving to Washington State. Cynthia said, I don't want to move again. Her mom said, put your stuff in the box. Cynthia went to school the next day, came home the next afternoon, and her family was gone. Her sole, sole possessions in, in that box that she had packed the day before. Without a place to live, Cynthia got a live-in babysitting job, continued going to school, got a job at Lucky Supermarket so she could eventually move out of the home and have her own place to live. She worked up the ladder at Lucky's and became a, a union journeyman clerk at Lucky Supermarket and became injured on the job. Fortunately, she sought counsel from tremendous attorney Cindy Chihawk, who encouraged Cynthia to pursue a paralegal certificate. Cynthia did that, then put herself through law school and became the an absolutely amazing dedicated attorney that she is today. Cynthia Craig embodies the phrase, nevertheless, she persisted. She spends her free time bringing others along, getting them involved in organizations and making sure that they succeed in their career and remain involved in COC to ensure the continued success of this organization. It is my absolute honor to welcome to the stage this year's Marvin E. Lewis Award winner, Cynthia Craig. glasses on like Mike the other day. I got to put my glasses on so I can see now. First, I want to say congratulations to all the other award winners. Um, fabulous evening tonight and you guys are all well deserving. Um, thank you to CAOC's executive board for giving me this award. I am truly honored and um, humbled to receive it. Sorry. Uh, um, you know, the Marvin E. Lewis Award is given um, in recognition of continued guidance, loyalty, and dedication, which has been an in inspiration to fellow attorneys. And um, Mr. Lewis was the first president of this organization, and his goal was to form a unified plaintiff's bar to hold the fort against the attack by the insurance industry. And I think Mr. Lewis would be proud of our organization today, um, without a doubt. No. I know what Casey said, but uh, I'm not so sure how I've inspired fellow attorneys, but I appreciate everything that he said. Um, but I want to thank those who've inspired me throughout my career. Um, John Montevideo, thank you so much for your uh, sound advice, both professionally and personally throughout the years. As a young lawyer, John um, taught me that being a plaintiff's lawyer is not just practicing law. You've got to go a step further. He instilled in me the importance of being a part of this organization um, because it provides us the means to change and make laws to protect our clients and protect our profession. 
and that is extremely important to everyone in this room. Um, and I have to say that COC knocked it out of the park this year, didn't we? Um, Rob Gibson, thank you for hiring me on a whim. <laughs> um, uh, thank you for your extraordinary trial advice. And I have to say, you're a boss that made coming to work an absolute pleasure every day. Um, Casey Johnson, you, you, um, thank you so much for your unyielding willingness to provide guidance. You, you know, Casey's a brilliant man, but when I say Casey's brilliant, you're like the, one of the brightest stars in the galaxy of human beings, and you are an amazing individual. I'm blessed to have your friendship. And Joe Moreno, I know you're not an attorney, but you inspire me every day with the love that you have in your heart for people. And the team here at CAOC, uh, the ladies and gentlemen of, that, of this organization, you guys are really the true inspiration here. Um, to my husband, Yoshi Kubota. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for just taking me out on a date. <laughs> You know, he took me to a Democratic event for our first date. I love you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for being there for 16 years. Um, Justice Sotomayor said that we as attorneys have a professional and moral duty to represent the underrepresented in our society to make sure that there's justice for all. To all of the young lawyers in this room, please continue to be a part of this organization Hold up the fort, as Mr. Lewis wanted. Um, I really appreciate the recognition. Thank you so much. <laughs>